What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. I've taken a hiatus from making videos. I've just been really busy at home, but we're back. And today we are talking about all of the six traditional grabs. I'm gonna do it on the jumps we have here. We are at Snow Basin Resort. I'm with the children today. We got Riley, we got Luke behind the cam. We got Owen over on the other side. But we are going to be hitting the three jumps in the park that's halfway up the mountain. And we're gonna be hitting all the traditional grabs. And what I mean by traditional grabs, I mean we're talking nose, we're talking tail, we're talking uh, E&D, we're talking mute, we're talking melon, and we're talking stale fish. So the six like traditional grabs where you're not doing anything crazy. I'm gonna pop up like a little graphic right now. And uh, that shows you kind of what the traditional grabs are. And then that graphic also has what the, uh, the kind of non-traditional and more like advanced grabs are. But uh, we're gonna go into those six grabs right now. Hopefully it only takes two runs. But uh, yeah, we're gonna show you guys what it's like and maybe walk through them a little bit and help you guys learn these uh, six grabs. Okay, so we're gonna hit this hip down here. I'm gonna grab, but it doesn't count as one of the grabs that I'm trying to describe, but probably do a big indie or something. Yeah. Let's see what Owen does. I'll do exactly what Can does. you do 360s on jumps, Riley? Bro, are you actually serious right now? Yeah, I am. All right, let's see if Riley can do a 360. Nice. Owens was better. Don't tell Riley. Okay, we'll go tail, indie, and then nose on the last one. So tail grab. We'll go indie on this one. Boom, right there. And then we're gonna go nose on this last one, the bigger one here. And that's that. Pretty chill, honestly. Hey Riley, just to let you know, uh, Owen's front three was way better. Dude, that was the first ah, one. I don't want to hear it. That was, uh, what was that? First one was tail grab, then it was Indian, then it was nose. I'd probably say nose is like the hardest of the six common grabs. The tail is the easiest, ironically, or maybe Indie, but both of those, it's a lot. It's all with your knees. You just got to pick up your knees. Last run was tail, Indie, and nose. This run's going to be melon, stale, and mute. That was dope. Woo! Okay, we'll go stale for the first one. Backhand behind the bindings. We'll go melon for the next one. Front hand behind the bindings. And then mute is front hand in between the bindings. Kind of like this. Let's hit this, uh, let's hit this thing right here. Yeah, no. Guest appearance. Question, is, is Tindy a real grab? He says no. We'll go into that. Okay, so that was then Stalefish, Melon, and Mute. Those were the last three of the uh, six traditional grabs. And uh, now we're gonna go into a grab that you should never do, and that's a Tindy grab. And what Tindy grab is, it is right in between an Indy and a tail, it's right in this general area here. And a lot of beginners grab there just because it's a really easy place to grab your board. Now I'm not telling you how to snowboard and it's obviously grabbing your board, but anybody who is part of the core snowboarding community or just works in the snowboard community or has done it at a high level knows that you never grab here. You never grab on the outside here and you never grab on the outside here. It's always tail, nose, or in between the feet. The only exception that I think is, a, is an exception, and some people might even argue this is a Euro method. And what I mean by that is you grab on the outside here and tweak it back like a method. Some people even think that that isn't, uh, isn't proper either. Some people think that to do a proper method, you have to be between the bindings. That's up for debate for sure. However, never grab Tindy. That is a grab that I see a lot of beginners do. Like I said, you'll never see a pro snowboarder grab Tindy. And I've seen a lot of counters to this saying, Brody, Sean White does that. No. As much as Sean White has the biggest stance you've ever seen in your life, Sean White will grab either inside of his binding or even more of like a blurry area is kind of right on the boot. Now we won't get into boot grabs, but that's uh, a counter to this that I've heard is Sean White grabs it. He does not. Another counter is Stalefish. Stalefish is not outside of the binding. Stalefish is backhand between the bindings. And another counter was Japan. Japan is not outside the bindings and tweak. Japan is inside the bindings with your front hand and tweaking it back. So, you know, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know, don't grab Tindy. If a, you know, higher level snowboarder sees you grab that, 
they know that I don't know what, what do they know they just just don't grab tinny we're gonna go through the park I'm gonna show you for education purposes only what a tinny grab is I'm gonna tell you guys not to do it and then from there on we're just gonna have a good day rip some park stick with it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're on the road to a uh, hundred million followers actually we're just uh, breaking the surface of that one and uh, yeah yeah it's a lot let's go hit some jumps Okay, first two features is not gonna be uh, it's not gonna be a tindy on this first feature. Just gonna go big on the hip. It's a fun hip jump to go big on. Kind of a method, not really. Okay, like I said, this is gonna be a tindy for educational purposes only. Try not to do this as best you can. Don't do that. It's bad. Do a little front three stale here. Oh no! I can't believe it. All right, let's hit the rail. I can't believe it. It was cool until it wasn't, huh? Well, also this, this is a tuck knee, not a stale, or not a, not a tindy tuck knee. Cause my hand was in between my bindings. That's kind of fun. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. I don't even know if Riley's got me in the frame or not, but if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about grabbing your board. I'll catch you in the next one. Later. <laughs>